loss. Concerned about the negative effect of the lingering ASU strike, particularly the fate of thousands of students across Nigeria, the Nigerian Labour Congress believes that it is time to end the strike. And the Congress that took the decision, the 36 states, to go on protest in solidarity, try to the state government so that they can help us to talk with the federal government in bringing lasting solution to this citizen strike of our union in the tertiary education. This is why we are here this morning. Responding, the state governor, Gordon Obaseki, represented by his chief of staff, Osai Bavo Iyoha, addressed the protesters. It is quite shameful, and I want to assure you that with, the, with this move that NLC and all of you have made today, this is a cry, it's a letter that has gone to the 36 states governors, and that something will be done at them. But the affected unions in this dispute took their stance. The truth is this, we are here purposely to get the government to end the strike and let our children go back to school. This one we are doing today is awareness, to create awareness for members of the public that uh, this one will be passing through from the hands of the government so that they can listen to our, our, our plight. We will wait for the federal government to respond to this protest. We will wait for the governors to intervene. We will wait for the negotiating a committee representing government to call the union to negotiating table because all the unions, the four unions, they have their own demands. This is Dennis Osadebe Avenue, the house to the state governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki. The crowd you are seeing here are members of the Nigerian Labour Congress. They have decided to pick tents with the ASU who has been on a five month long strike. They said they will continue to demand what is right for the students? Eben, Inasco, Silverbed News 24.